Just a quick tour around the uh, filtration system of my Dual 240. This took over work from an existing tank which didn't have any built-in filtration. Whereas this does, you can see there in the corner the filter box. Now I'd already got the filter you see down there which is quite a large external filter to use now there's an issue with combining the two, but the issue didn't exist very long. Um, this is actually, if I turn it round, if you can see there, it's a Fluval 205. There we go. And Fluval have their own hoses, which you've got rubber ends on, and they're a corrugated hose. But um, they're not the easiest things to use, so I basically took those hoses off and heated up in boiling water the end of some longer lengths of hose as you see there and those seem to fit quite well and to stop them kinking I used a loop oh, it's actually an over sink loop from a washing machine for where you um, run the waste off a dishwasher or a washing machine into a sink but they work quite well at keeping the uh, pipes from kinking. Anyway, you see there's two types of pipe. There's the ones with looks like it's got a built-in mesh. There's also the clear plastic ones. Both of those seem to work quite well. Um, you notice a lack of water in this baking tray underneath. Is witness really to the fact that that's working. Anyway, put that back the way it was. Before the pipe up, the... Uh, intake pipe is down here in the filter box and that's where the um, heater normally is as this is a cold water tank it doesn't matter but found a German fella on eBay who sold these wonderful things which are acrylic U-bends and they work absolutely perfectly in fitting in there to enable the water intake which has got the um, one-way valve on the back of it fit, to fit down there all I've got to do is uh, modify this panel so that it shuts better now the exit from the filter is here and now using two of the U-bends I cut them and super glued them together and then on top of the super glue put a section of the mesh pipe to hold it together now this is the spray bar that came with the filter you'll notice here the rubber end this is the um, rubber pipe rubber union that normally exists on the end of the fluval corrugated pipes but in this case it's a firm push fit on the end of the spray bar i just held it on the end of the acrylic pipe with a hose clip that's a stainless steel one because you don't really want rusty steel going in there but the spray bar does a very very good job now with the existing internal filter what you've also got is quite a lot of filtration all the way down here and also since there's, there's a spray head in there you probably can't see that particularly well but up there is a power head outlet what you can actually do is fit a bit of airline on there so that it sprays water out as well as air out as well as water but um, the fish seem pretty comfortable um, all this extra filtration is really for the uh, girls or boys in the centre background good gin they seem to be loving it and that's what I've always wanted to keep in cold water tank so there we go. Anyway, enough of my ramblings on. There's some fish to watch. Have a good morning.